عندنا واحد في الهند يحب عدد من الأكلات حبيب أمر May Allah preserve him mentions a story that there was a once an individual in India who used to like a variety of foods. And whenever this variety of foods was presented to him, he would eat a lot thereof. So a few changes were made then to the this um, these foods such that they were then gathered as one and many people liked this new change. However, this individual who previously liked these foods didn't like this new style. Despite there not being any additions made to this, all that was made was a change in its preparation. And in fact, by this gathering of these foods taking place, all that resu resulted was an increase in goodness. However, it got to an extent that this individual, when and if this new dish or this new type of food was mentioned in a gathering, he would stand up and immediately leave such a gathering. And this is the same story with the word tasawuf with many people. If you speak to him about zuhd or one's detachment from worldly affairs, he says, this is a great affair. And if you tell an individual about being conscious or fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he responds that this is a good thing, or this is a praiseworthy thing. And if you speak to him about scrupulousness, wara, as it's known in the Arabic language, he likewise replies, saying that this is a good thing. And if you mention to this individual, about remembering Allah in abundance. Like when he says, this is a very good thing. But if you tell him, or if you happen to mention the word tasawwuf, anger overcomes this individual. We didn't even bring anything new. All we did was gathered all these words under one umbrella. And all we did was use one terminology for these traits that we've mentioned. <laughs> 